Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. All right. So we got our next projects. This one right here has already been modified. It's got a whole audio system in it. This one has not been modified. Actually, super, super clean, brand new. This one's way newer and not been touched. This one has been touched, but it's a mess. And when I mean mess, you haven't even seen underneath the engine. is brand new-ish, way newer than that one. It's the newer year, but this one has been completely unmolested and completely stock. Still has a stock head unit, stock speakers and everything. So this one will be a lot easier to do because nothing has been altered or changed, which will be really nice. So that way we don't have to worry about going behind somebody and doing their work afterwards. These are the stock Can-Am, I guess you would call them just little decorative pieces. We're going to be taking these out. Um, we've got one on each side. We're going to be replacing them with these SSV pods. We're going to be putting those in. So we're going to show you how we're going to take those out and go ahead and put those in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off these torques here on each side and we're going to take these torques out here. And then on the back side, we're gonna take out these torques right here. That way we can remove these shrouds here and here, and then this piece will come out as well. We're gonna start with removing these torques right here, and here, and here. Also gonna to have to remove this one and this one so that this piece can come out, and this piece can come out, and then this piece can come out so we can replace it with the pod. These right here are a T25 for these front two, and these here are a T40. So basically we're gonna use a T40 and a T25, 25 on these and 40 on these on the rears too. Just remember those are different. Now we're gonna go to the T40. We're taking both these T25s off, so now we're gonna take the T40s off. There's also right here and right here, two T25s. So you gotta remove those to separate the two pieces. After you've removed all these four in the front and the two in the rear, you've also gotta remove these two so that these unbolt from each other. You just take these out. You can, just draw, you can just draw them by hand if you want. I just cut out one and then trace it onto the half inch and make the next one, you know what I mean? All right, separate these two pieces. These come off just like this. So that way we can remove this. And then this piece is gonna come out just like that. And now we can put our new piece into there. Now that we've removed this front piece and the back piece, both of those are sitting down there. And we remove this piece, which is 
right there. This is what it looks like without anything on it. And then we're gonna put our new pot here. On this side here, you're gonna take off the gas cap. I'm gonna put that over here. And then you're gonna take some channel locks and you're gonna remove this lock washer that's in here so that that way you can take this lock washer off to get this piece out. All right, we removed this collar off of here and the gas cap off right here. So we're gonna take this piece off and then replace it with our new one. It's have to come out. Which part? I'm guessing this plastic piece right here. Yeah. So this whole front fascia piece or whatever. You're gonna take off those tabs, those pop tabs. So basically yeah. these things. Yeah. Do me go get my other ones. Yeah, let me go grab my other, is it? Oh, those will work, okay. So we gotta take all those out to get that piece out. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a lot of them. Do you want me to go get my other pliers? Uh, yeah, let me go grab them. That'll probably help. Cool. All those push pins and stuff. Uh, so show all the ones that you took off. So I took all these push pins out. Uh, they go all the way down here. I took the door off right here. Just push it up. And then there's a screw up here for the fairing. And then we're taking out this one and this one, pop this out, and then we'll get this fairing off. You've basically got to do the driver's side the same way, correct? Yes. So we've got to take all the same pop pieces out. We've got to take the door off. Everything has to be removed on the driver's side to mimic the passenger side so that that way we can remove these top pieces, correct? Yep. Lovely, just lovely. So we're gonna take these pieces off right here, basically these. Um, we're gonna take these off to make, basically try to remove these as well because this is all one big piece and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get off. So we're gonna take that one off, take this one off and see how much more we've gotta take off to be able to get this whole piece off. Okay, now seats are removed, everything's out and everything's ready. This is all open, this is all open. So hopefully we can just now remove all this top piece, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's talk about how amazing this SSB beautiful box that we paid almost $350, $400 for. Here's their instructions. Um, this is the only part of the instructions that says how to mount the sub. Then if you go to page two, here's how you mount the plate to the thing. But there's not one part in here on how to mount this part that goes here. I guess you're just supposed to use your common knowledge and figure out, well, there's four bolts, that must be it. It doesn't tell you anywhere on how to mount these side pieces. So you just gotta look at the picture and go, that looks about right, so let's just go for it. So ordering this SSB, maybe we're missing some pictures or we're missing some pages, but it does not tell you how to mount these. It does not tell you how to mount this. It does not tell you how to mount this. So just be fair warned, the instructions are very vague. It does not tell you a lot of stuff. Also, it tells you that if you wanna buy this extra harness from them, that's separate, so you gotta buy that. But basically, if not, cut these off and use them as your wires, but that's that's their prerogative so we are uh, trying to do this all and make it all look nice so that we can bolt it into the slingshot basically we've come to the conclusion that you must take out the whole entire rear section of the slingshot to get this box just to fit now we have figured out within the past couple of weeks that they've came out with a new box that just slides right in so from this point forward i will not be ordering this box i will be ordering the box that just slides right in because this is ridiculous to put a speaker box into a slingshot. I mean, you literally have to dismantle the whole damn thing to get this thing to fit. So we won't be doing this anymore.